This is three, four rounds of pure warfare. Pure warfare. Our second fight tonight, Roberto Duran, the four-time world champion from Panama, 94 and 11, 65 KOs, taking on the unbeaten Ronnie Martinez of the Kentucky, 16 and 0, 13 KOs. Roberto says this may be a swan song if he doesn't look good or win tonight. Bert, your comments. Well, Roberto Duran is a living legend, but I'm not sure he's not doing a, Beatle, a, a Beatles farewell tour approach. Uh, we thought he was through after Vinny Pazienza. This is his 106th fight, his 29th year of boxing. I don't know how much longer he can go on. Incredible win. Here comes Roberto, led by his 19-year-old daughter. She's even in the crowd. His wife, Felicia Dad, the 106th time this man will step into a ring as a professional fighter. Bert Sugar, a very concerned look and the cornerman of Roberto Duran. Do they question his, uh, his dedication? Do they question his prepare, preparation for this fight, do you think? I don't know. I think they know that if it doesn't work, this is the last time they'll have to walk into the ring, Pedro. In other words, how long can they keep this farewell tour going? Not very long. Let's let's take a tail of the tape. Roberto Duran, 43 years old. <laughs> Ronnie and, Martinez, and, and, up. and next week 44. Right, a mere 29. That's correct. Next week 44. 167 for Duran. 162 for Martinez at the weigh-in yesterday afternoon. Duran stands five seven and a half. Martinez five ten, a two and a half inch height advantage, and Martinez also has a five and a half inch reach advantage. Let's go to Michael Buffer. of the evening, 10 rounds of boxing. This is in the super middleweight division. When the bell rings, the man in charge of the action referee, Ron Lipton. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trimmed with white letters, weighing 162 pounds. He comes to us tonight from Newport, Kentucky with an undefeated record of 16-0. 13 of his 16 victories by KO. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Rony Martinez. And his opponent across the pink waiting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 167 pounds. He comes to us tonight from Panama City, Panama. In 105 professional bouts, he has 19. stare down for the 106th time Roberto Duran will get it on I've seen him in more ferocious stare down very much you know what the most ferocious stare down I ever saw was Larry Holmes and Leon Spinks well no <laughs> I, and I saw a listing you've never seen one you've never seen one so you've seen Sonny Charles this is the former heavyweight champion Roberto Duran both fighters in red and black <laughs> trunks again Duran with the multicolored rainbow around his waist and his shoes and, and Martinez, just in case you missed it, he's got his name on his trunk. Name on his trunk and a ponytail to match. You know, Martinez had two looks to him today, two distinctly different looks. He had the look of a confident fighter, and he had then that was in the morning, and in the afternoon he had the look of a deer caught in the headlights of a car. Which one do you think it is? I don't know. Even his wife would look scared this afternoon. Look Durant, at that left. Durant's good jab. Duran pushes people back with the jab. Up, 
Roberto Duran, the first round, feeling it out. You know the problem is with, when guys fight Roberto Duran is that Roberto Duran has fought more, has forgotten more than these guys will ever know. Well, you know, just think that the man was three years old and he's now 29 when Duran started fighting. I mean, Duran can put on a clinic there. Duran has won 15 rounds five times, 12 or more rounds four times, 10, time, 10 rounds or more 41 times. Incredible. Everything he's done is incredible, including the longevity of his career. Yeah, 698 professional rounds in the career of Roberto Duran. I can't even count that. Martinez. Uh, Martinez, you know Martinez is looking for an easy way out of this fight. No, he's not. But, I, but they, you, you just had a Roberto scornfully saying that wasn't a low punch, let's go. Yeah. Mon Lipton warned him and he said the heck with it. And probably something a little bit harsher. You know, Roberto, R Roberto, was, he, he's got he's gonna be, well, good, good left. Two good lefts. Roberto willing to go for it here. Takes a couple of these shots. He's going to test his inexperience very early, I'll tell you that. That and his chin. We're talking about Duran testing the chin of the much younger Ronnie Martinez with the Mexican, Mexican and the American flag in his trunks. And what Duran, I think, is trying to do is errati eradicate the memory, <laughs> erase the memory of his last fight against Vinny Kazian. That chopping right hand almost erased the uh, memory of Ronnie Martinez. Good 20 line. seconds ago in the first round. Good line. Good line. These are middleweights, actually super middleweights. 162 for uh, Martinez, 167 for Roberto Duran. And I will tell you, Roberto Duran is way over 175. 160, 167 and way in time. Good round for Duran. Here goes the stare down. There's the stare down we waited for. When, and, uh, and, and the crowd loves it. The crowd loves it. That's vintage Duran. But Martinez... That's not, that might not be the wisest thing to do. I don't know, but I think Duran is playing to the crowd. He loves it. I mean, to the same degree as I can continue to analogize this to a Beatles farewell tour, he's going to play to this crowd. They love him. Even when they announced the Hall of Famer George Brett from the Kansas City team, he didn't get his, he didn't get his big a play. Here comes a low blow. Is it that low? Uh, I thought it was just on the letters. It was a little low, but Martinez was holding his head. There was a double, a double, look at this. See, he's right. pushing his head down. Yep. So it's not. It was on the belt line. I know, and watch, if they, if they will show us the reaction, he just tells them scornfully the heck with it. Wasn't low, and stares at him. Round number two. Middleweight, super middleweight. Roberto Duran, the former four-time world champion, fighting out of Panama City. He is in the black trunks. He has the facial hair. The goatee, the customary goatee of Duran. Which gives him that devilish look, almost maniacal. It, without question. Never forget when you were with Ring Magazine, they had a cover story, Uno Mas. And they showed, they portrayed those black, devilish eyes. Duran, nice, nice. Good combination by Duran. Started with the right hand, finished with two hooks. I didn't see him throw that in the entire Vinny Pazienza second fight. Duran complaining about being held. Uh-oh, Martinez saying, come to me. I think he'll get his wish. Martinez trying to show some intestinal fortitude here against the veteran, the legend, the living legend, Roberto Duran. He was very much alive so far. Very much. Decent jab. Both jabs scored there. Martinez's his footwork seems, as he comes in seems to suffer. Yeah, and he's, he's trying to throw shots to the body, which is the way to go if you're going to fight Roberto Duran. No question about that. Let's go to his midsection. But I think he's got to keep his hands up when he steps back away from Duran. He's stepping back with his hands down, asking to get pops. Look how Duran still has that ability to turn his head ever so slightly and oh, yeah. get out of the way of punches. Who's been better at that? Anybody? There have been a couple of better, I mean, really, Pep was better. It's slipping punches, but 
it is overlooked so much in Duran's case. He's a master at it. Good hard body shot. Right under the right elbow to the liver of Ronnie Martinez. Martinez turning around. Claims he was butted. Ronnie's complaining a bit in this fight. Whining or complaining. Good. Good right hand to the body by Martinez. His best throw up there. Martinez starting to let those hands go. But Duran's waiting on him. He makes a mistake. Duran will capitalize. You cannot exchange jabs with Duran. No, but he's not even stepping in. His jab is an arm jab. It's not even a jab where he's stepping in with his body behind it. He's not committing himself to throwing that jab, Bert. I don't know what this lazy your back foot to throw a jab is. It looks like a horse pawing at the ground. Undefeated Ronnie Martinez got Roberto Duran up against the ropes. And did and and off nothing. Comes, yeah. Oh, that was a right hand. He's hurt. There's a right hand over the top and a right uppercut right underneath vintage a la Roberto Duran and Mike Tyson. Countdown round number two. Both hands, Ronnie, both hands. Come down. Good body shot by Duran. Duran finished that round strong, Bert. I think he began it strong, too. Yeah, but he did. But he finished it strong. And the thing is, with Duran in the past, you and I have seen him start rounds fast, but not finish them fast. And he seemed to fight the whole three minutes this time. What I am waiting to see is two things. One, if the body punches to Martinez take their toll. And two, if this fight gets into the middle rounds, will Roberto have stamina? Because if you'll remember, he showed little stamina in his last fight against Pazienza. Well, this is the night of redemption for Roberto Duran, according to him. He picked an undefeated guy. He said, I'm not picking a guy that's been beaten a hundred times. I'm not coming back beating a guy that's been beaten up by everybody else. I'm beating a guy that's untouched. He may be green, but he's undefeated. Let's look at a replay of this first round there. Martinez throwing a combination up against Rose. Most of that missed. Here comes Duran. With a sneer. Right hand, right uppercut, hurt him. When was he, you don't see right hands and right uppercuts coming that quick behind him no. anymore. And he might be 43, 44 years old next week. That was a beautiful move. It sure was. And you know what? He, when Marty Martinez throws his jab, he opens his entire body up. There you go. That's what he wants. You're right. He does uh, give him a lot of target there. Duran in the black trunks, he needs no introduction to anybody tuning in the world around. We're talking about the former four-time world champion fighting out of Panama City. Turn pro in 1967, folks. Yes, 1967. Martinez holding inside Duran, punishing him for it. Well, Hitting he, he didn't hold both hands either. Yes. Oh, another like, right, another right. Beautiful right. right. Starting to look like a clinic here. But Martinez attempting to stand his ground, show his intestinal fortitude. Another body shot. Told Dre, that wasn't that. The referee, Saran Lucas, said that wasn't low. Look at Roberto, this is kicking back, waiting. Waiting for this young green kid to make a mistake. Then it'll sever his head. Beautiful combination. Two uppercuts for Roberto, a left hook, and then a right hand to the body. Even while going away. Martinez lands a combination, but he's standing straight up in that corner. What does that mean, Bert? That means so. Oh. Martinez's best shots of the fight. And he got punished for it badly. Yeah. His whole face is, a, box, is red now. Box, look at his face. It's all red. Back to box. Even his corner is now screaming, go back to boxing. Don't try to swap with the Back to box. Back to boxing. But he's not a boxer. He's a puncher. That's what he's been for the most part of his career. He's got 13 knockouts and a 16 win. Yep. Certainly. Most of those guys have got out in the first and second round. Hard to knock out, out or down with it. It's hard to hit him cleanly. You talked about his defensive abilities earlier. He's just so skillful and sly at what he does. There's a subtlety to Roberto Duran. That 
gets lost. <laughs> Look at that. Like a professional assassin. No so There's Danny Case at sub Stop punching. Step back. Countdown Stop. round number three. Round number three in the books. As we look at the nearly sold out crowd here in the Kansas City Auditorium and head back to the corner of the former four-time champion, Roberto Manos de Pietro Duran. Duran with just a little slight bit of swelling underneath that right and left eye. He wants water. You notice Roberto does something after 106 fights that's interesting. He goes back to his corner and he listens. He asks what happened. And here, here's the punch. See, Roberto caught his hand. Martinez on the attack. And here comes Roberto. Evading punches, getting down, and, and fighting off the ropes. Scoring with those body shots. We know those will tell a tale if this fight gets into the latter rounds. After three rounds, I have it a shutout for Roberto. Did I miss something? <laughs> Bert Randolph Sugar, my colorful color man tonight, my color analyst. Always a pleasure to work with Bert again. Always a pleasure. Martinez coming out like a ball of fire in the uh, fourth round. Decent jab there by Roberto. Decent everything by Roberto. Roberto is now attempting, uh, now looks like he's putting on a clinic. Both in offensive, uh, well, his defensive skills are yeah. outstanding. Yes. It, it's amazing he hasn't lost much of that. Again, it's Martinez. But Martinez has two hands to throw punches just like anybody else. Yep. Oh, wow. Don't referee. Yeah, Ron, Ron, don't over referee this fight because you're on TV. He, he almost made a move there to get into that. It's like calling three seconds in the NBA Finals. We just don't do that. Good right hand by Durant. Over, over the left jab. Over the late left jab. He countered again. He countered it. And the fact, the reason why that Ronnie is so easy to counter is he throws one jab at a time. You, if you double up on the jab, it makes the counter harder. Look, watch for Bernard Durant playing with him with those body shots. You know he's going to come ripping over the top of the right hand. Halfway through with this, the fourth round, scheduled for 10 middleweights, super middleweights. Ronnie Martinez never came out with the mouthpiece. It, it, it took him half a round to figure it out. Well, talk about squirrels in the corner. Who's got the mouthpiece? Mouthpiece, mouthpiece. Who's got the mouthpiece? I always like it when it takes a man a half a round to figure it out. <laughs> The astute corner of Ronnie Martinez there. And the fighter wasn't smart enough to realize his mouth guard wasn't in place. His gum shield was right there. <laughs> Maybe he knew that he would get hit in the head like that last right hand. <laughs> Ran using those ropes. That's it. He's hurt. Backed him up. Three punch combination, finished Duran. Side side. Almost got it home again, that overhand right. Side to side, Ronnie. Down the block, down the block. 40 seconds ago in this, the fourth round, we're scheduled for 10. We're here in Kansas City awaiting the main event of the evening, folks. About for the vacant IBC Heavyweight Championship between Tommy the Duke Morrison and Donovan Razor Ruddick. That is coming hand, right after this fight. Wait. Duran. A little high on that one. A little high. But did you notice while, while Martinez was pointing at his head, Roberto did him the favor of pointing harder. <laughs> That's why I love working with him, folks. He is one of a kind. I'm talking about Burt Randolph Sugar, the publisher of Fox and Illustrated Magazine. Count down just a few seconds ago in this, the fourth round, scheduled for 10. I think Rick, Roberto's having a hell of a good time out Roberto there. Roberto is having a good time here tonight, isn't he? Well, I'm not even going to bother going to the scorecard there because we no. know what that round was all about. I think I'll eat the scorecard so it won't be used <laughs> against Martinez. <laughs> Look at the total, the total rounds here. 
total bouts, 105 to 16, 798 rounds to 40 rounds. Incredible. But Mar Martinez has a higher knockout ratio. His average bouts go 4.7 rounds. Duran's go 7.6. And Duran's only got a 62% knockout ratio compared to Martinez's 80%. That just shows you that half of statistics are lies and the other half are damn lies. That's my buddy. <laughs> there he is. There's little Victor. There's little Duran. Little Victor Duran. That's my girlfriend, Marcy, poking in the uh, camera there. He's as much a ham as his father. He is. Named after Victor, who owns Victor's yes. uh, Cafe in, uh, in the New Bronx. York. New York, Manhattan. 52nd Street. Beautiful yeah. cafe. That's it. That's it. On the toes. Right there. We're in the fifth round. Four rounds down. These are middleweights, super middleweights. Roberto Duran in the black trunks without any markings on them. Ronnie Martinez with his name on the front of his trunks. Hands up. Left hand up. That's it, right there. In fact, you were mentioning Victor. He won enough money to buy a beautiful Mercedes Benz after that fight in Montreal against Sugar Ray Leonard. Betting on Duran. Wow. There you go, move! Duran, the 8 to 5 underdog in that fight. Right. But ironically, the crowd favored. Yeah. Which is surprising since Leonard had won his Olympic gold medal in that same uh, in that same stadium. But I think the Canadians perceived Leonard as a guy, oh, good combination by Duran, as a guy that, that had the easy route. Well, that fight was the first time you saw Duran mellow a little. He took to the fans and went around and talked to them. And he is mellower. If you look at that face and believe that he was fiercer in his youth, you would know <laughs> why they didn't want to face him. Ask, ask Ray Lampkin. Grant slowing things down just a little bit here. He's still controlling the fight. No question about that. Martinez threw some effective blows in the prior round. But not enough to take the round on the scorecard of myself or Mr. Boxing with the Blue Sugar. Martinez with a jab. Not doubling up on the jab. If he wants to get to the range, he's got to double up on that jab to get close enough to land the right hand. Do you agree? I think that's part of his problem. The other part is it's Duran. Duran was just waiting for him to lunge in yeah. that time. Duran's looking good here. Really, it's hard to imagine this type of boxing display by a 43-year-old, by a 33-year-old man. Some 23-year-old man can't fight like this. See, Duran just pity patting, pity patting, looking to come with a power shot. Martinez trying to force a fight, putting Dan Duran against the ropes. Duran with that, that popping jab. Duran, oh, oh beautiful did he right wait up for that? Oh, and you and I saw it coming. Did he wait for You that? and I saw that one coming. We're outside the ring. He should have sent that air mail. <laughs> Counting the round down. Look, he's even letting him. He's challenging him yeah. to hit him. Good tactics that keeps the crowd in the fight. Well, half the fight's down. Half the fight's down. Roberto does not look any the worse for wear, either in terms of stamina or any damage or harm. No, but I still I wouldn't put his rope. I don't believe in putting your hands on the ropes, being a former fighter. Ali did it. Of course, he was the exception to the every rule. But you, you put your arms up, Bert, and they feel like they're 30-pound weights. It's still Roberto Duran. I'll let him do whatever. <laughs> Pedro, I'll let him do whatever he wants to do. He, if he wants to sleep he, in your room tonight, that's fine. That's fine. I won't. He can. The end of the round, the scorn and stuff. Duran, oh, timing it perfectly, the right uppercut. And then watch. He just stands there and says, come and get me. And here it is. Right now, Martinez looks like a man uh, in terminal confusion. Round number six, super middleweights. Roberto Duran in the all-black trunks, so you can't see the multicolored band around his waist. Which matches and, his shoes. Which matches his shoes. And Ronnie Martinez in the uh, black trunks with the, his name across the front, and the Mexican and the American flag there. Mexican-American, born in 
Burbank, California, now living in Kentucky. Let him move. Let him move. Very tentative now. Mike Mike just doesn't want to throw Mike in down. because he's eaten countered off everything he throws. He gets eaten alive every time yeah. he comes lunging in. Yeah. Two good jabs. Grant with that jab that'll bust you up. He drives him across the ring. Yeah. Come out. Step in the pit and fall. Good hip shot, sir. That first shot to the hip, very Hold effective base. blow. Looks like a paint job now. Hands up, hands up. Hands up. Duran and Martinez uh, slowing the action just a little bit in the sixth round here, halfway through it. I can understand Duran, I can't understand Martinez doing it. No, but I just saw Martinez take three big body shots and take a big deep breath after the third one. I don't think he's having as much fun out there as Durant. No. Look at Durant, he's got that right over and right. That's been working for him almost all night. Yep. It's unbelievable how he rolls under punches. Look at him, he's right there to hit. Not by Martinez, he's not. Martinez with the tattoo on his back. In Mexican America, and, and, and being tattooed on his front. <laughs> <laughs> the tattoo uh, artist for this session, Roberto Duran, painting Ronnie Martinez throughout the uh, first six rounds of this fight. Of course, upcoming the main event: Tommy the Duke Morris and Ann Razor Ruddick. Go get your beers now, please. Because when that main event starts, do not leave the TV set. No, I don't think it's going to be a clinic. Like Duran is giving us here. Round number six is in the books. Duran drinking the agua in the corner. Do you, do you really want to hear my scorecard or can you make a guess? Uh, tell me. I have it round one, two, three, four, five, and six for the first one. You're not, you're not sitting on the fence there on nothing, are you? I, uh, I can't see any reason to. <laughs> Don't forget, tonight's bout brought to you by Holden Promotions and, of course, United Video. A road approach awaiting round number seven. These are super middleweights. Speaking of Roberto's worst moment, he just sat worst, down behind us. Worst nightmare. Tommy Hearns is in the house. Tell Roberto Tommy's in the house looking for a fight. Hey, if you see Roberto Duran. Tommy Aaron is looking for him. But I don't think Roberto fought this way against Tommy. Right down, go back. Roberto didn't fight much against Tommy. He was too busy doing the yo-yo invitation and going up and down. Both hands, bud. Fast hit. Relax and fake. That's it, right down. This corner is howling for my two to be relaxed. He relaxes anymore, he can take up room to get a hotel across. Give him a value. Oh, that's it. He's that's it. He's hurt. Like. He's hurt. Oh, Duran. <laughs> oh, Duran, right back to the body, though. Martinez was guarding the head. Duran went straight back to the body. But he what gave a it? Louis Tion look. Did you see how yeah. he did that? Yeah. He turned away and came in. Such a boxing professor here. Good body shot. Left hook to the liver. Another one. He's taking him apart. He's taking his heart already. It's only a matter of time before he takes his consciousness. See that? He's Martinez falling with blows, tentative now. Well, every time he, every time Duran 
defense he flinches. Roberto Duran looking good tonight in his 106-pro fight. Maybe there's 106 there, more there. left in him right there. Well, I don't want to see him in 106 more times. I'll go for maybe three or four. The greatest lightweight of all time, that's what a lot of people say. Tonight, he's a super middleweight. Taking on undefeated Ronnie Martinez. 16-0, 13 knockouts. Duran back into the corner, almost knocked down the cameraman. What he wanted to do was ricochet off the corner. And fire that right hand, didn't he? Okay, he, was, he <laughs> you saw it, I saw it. I, I, I think Mark, even Martinez saw Yeah, because he, he, he would have walked into that one. It would have been a good night, Irene. He was looking to get leverage off the rope. Yep. It's a very old boxing trick. I haven't seen that in about 25 years. Martinez landing a few ineffective blows, trying to work inside, came up with a decent right uppercut. Which brought a smile to Roberto's yeah, face. He dances with a left hook. Half smear, half smile. Half smear, half smile. He just went down, a right hand. No, well, referee's calling it a slip. It wasn't a slip, it was uh, a he, knockdown. He's still hurt. He's still hurt. Ron Lipton's not catching that. He's still hurt. There's 14 <laughs> seconds to go in this to four, the seventh round. They're ready to throw in the towel here. The corner of Martinez. <laughs> the fight's over. As well it should be. The official time, 259, around number seven. I thought Lipton would call that last one a slip, too. Wow. He's ready. He still cannot yeah. stand up. He's got a stool. Poor kid cannot stand up still. And no. We're talking about Ronnie Martinez in, in obvious discomfort in his corner. Now he's on the stool. Grand walking around. His victory lap. His victory lap. And who's in the ring but Morad the Morad Muhammad? Durant comes over, congratulates a game but overmatched Ronnie Martinez. Now you can't say it was the opponent. The opponent came to fight. He was undefeated. He had never knew what the word loss was. Okay? No question about that, man. Good, buddy. Roberto Duran shaking hands with over here. Looked great tonight. Roberto Duran really, really looked good. Look, no at, look at the sneer. As yeah. we play the replay, it's a sneer, a move. Ugh, and he, and that he's, right waiting. he's waiting. He's yeah. waiting. There goes the right. That was claimed to be a slip. Look, that's such a good slip. He's down. Ricochet off the side of the head, off the top of the head. That, that tends to mess up one's equilibrium. And here he comes back again. Body shot straight to the body. The true professor. Martinez guarding the head, holding his, holding his hand. Ooh. Left hook. Right hand. Meanwhile, during all of this, and you and I saw it, Pedro, because it was right on top of it, uh, his handlers are trying to throw in Martinez's towel. Yeah, but the, the towel was caught on his pants. He couldn't get it out of his pocket. Down goes Martinez. That is the end of the fight. So Roberto Duran, victorious the 96th time. The 96th time as a pro. He is very victorious. Let's go up to Michael Buffer. Recording his 66th knockout, folks. Incredible. 